Pydantic is one of the most popular Python framework which is used for type validation. Now they have come up with a new agent framework. Just think how robust it would be. Because all the available frameworks are literally built on top of Pydantic. Pydantic plays a very crucial role in all of these frameworks and they are claiming that you can build a production grade agent using Pydantic AI. So today we are gonna explore Pydantic AI. This framework offers some amazing features which other frameworks do not offer. I am gonna show you how you can build an agent with a dynamic system prompt. Basically you can change or update your system prompt on the fly. After that, I am going to show you how you can build an agent with multiple tools. Particularly in each tool, you can inject some values dynamically on the fly. After that, I am going to show you how you can build multiple agents and let them interact to each other using Pydantic AI. Let's begin. We can install Pydantic AI through pip command. Simply do pip install Pydantic AI, it will get installed. Then we need this nest async IO library to run this Pydantic AI within Jupyter Notebook. After installing these two libraries, we need to restart our notebook. After that, import nest async IO and call this apply method. So that we will be able to call any asynchronous function within Jupyter Notebook without any issue. Now let's build a simple agent using Pydantic AI. To build an agent, we need to import agent class from Pyrantic AI. Then we need to initialize the agent. If you see here, the agent class takes bunch of arguments. We are not going to focus on all of these arguments. Right now we are going to focus only on model and system prompt. So we are going to use GPT-40 mini as our model and we are going to use this simple system prompt. So our agent is ready. Now we can call this agent using this run method and remember it is an asynchronous method. If you are interested in synchronous method, you can use this run sync method. But mostly we will be using asynchronous method. So now let's call our agent. And if you print the result, you can see it contains the complete conversation history and it contains model text response, then it contains uh, token details and it contains few other details but what we will be interested in is we'll be interested in the model's final response you can get the model's final response using this data key after that we will be interested in the conversation history you can get it by calling this all messages method here you can see we have system prompt user prompt and the model response so using this we can create a simple chat assistant right so let's chat with our agent here we are initializing uh, empty history and here we are asking for user input and until user says buy we will be keep on calling our agent with user input and the conversation history and we will simply print assistance output and we'll keep on updating the history now let's run this let's say hello to our agent we got hello how can i assist you today Let's say I am, uh, oh, okay, let's say I am Vishnu and I am a data scientist. I'm Vishnu, I'm a data scientist. Okay. Nice to meet you, Vishnu, as a data scientist. Okay, fine. So now let's ask our agent to write a story about myself. Okay, we got a story. Let's say bye to our agent. Okay, so this is how you can create a simple agent using Pydantic AI. And this is not that interesting, right? Now let's make it interesting. I'm gonna show you how you can build an agent with a dynamic system prompt. Basically, you can change or update your system prompt while calling the agent. So let me show you how to do that. To update our system prompt dynamically, first we need to create a data class with certain details which we will be using in our system prompt. Basically, we want to update our system prompt with certain details. 
those details should be defined within our data class so here we are trying to update our system prompt with username and age so that's why here we have defined name and age within our data class and while initializing our agent we need to pass this data class as dependencies as you can see here there is an augment called dependency type which takes the dependency of this particular agent which means this agent completely dependent on this particular model and notice that we are not passing system prompt while initializing the agent instead we have created a function with this decorator and this function takes our data class so that the function can access the username and age which we will be passing while calling the agent let me show you here I have created an instance of our data class and we are passing this as a dependency while calling the agent. So in run method there is an option to pass your dependency. So here we need to pass our dependency. Now let's run this and see the magic. Here you can see hello Mr. Vishnu how can I assist you today. Now let's change the values. Now it is hello Mr. Abhi. Now let's change the value again. Now it is hello Mr. Money. So basically the system prompt is getting updated dynamically whenever you call this run method. And another interesting part is you can use these dependencies inside your tool as well. Let me show you. Here we have the same setup and the only difference is we have added two tools to our agent. And if you notice here, here I have used tool decorator and here I've used tool plane decorator and what is the difference between them so the difference is if you want to use dependencies inside your tool then you have to use tool decorator and if you don't want to use the dependencies inside your tool then you have to use tool plane decorator so this is the difference between tool decorator and tool plane decorator so this is how we can add tools to our agent and there is one more way while initializing the agent itself you can pass list of tools to your agent so if you look at this particular function which takes the dependency and it simply returns the current bank balance of that particular customer and this function it simply returns the current date and time now let's run this agent as you can see here we are creating the dependency and we are passing the dependency while calling the agent now let's call the agent your current bank balance is $200,000 Mr. Abhi now let's change it to Vishnu so Mr. Vishnu your current bank balance is $100,000 now let's change it to money I hope now you got the point. This is how you can dynamically inject some values into your tools. Now let's move to the next interesting part which is multiple agents. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a three agents. CEO agent, sales agent and HR agents. The customers will be interacting with CEO agent and the CEO agent has to interact with sales agent and HR agent to provide the details to the customers. So as usual. Here we are initializing our data class and here we are initializing our agents. As you can see here, we are using static system prompt for HR agent as well as a sales agents. We are not going to update HR agent or sales agent system prompt. We will be updating only CEO agent system prompt. So that's why we have created a function and we have attached this particular function to CEO agent. And this particular function will update the system prompt of CEO agent. Right. So this takes our dependency and it updates the customer name. That's it. And we have created two more tools and we have added those tools to CO agent. So this is the same concept which is used in all other frameworks, which is using agent as tool to another agent. As you can see here, we are using HR agent as a tool for CO agent. Similarly, sales agent as a tool for CEO agent. So what will happen is if CEO agent has to get some information from HR agent, simply he can use this tool. Similarly, if he need some information from sales agent, simply he can use this particular 
tool so this is how we can create multi agent environment now let's see how it works let's run this cell and let's chat with our agent hi hello vishnu d how can i assist you today how many sick leaves i can take so let's see how many sick leaves i can take so you can take up to 12 days of sick leave per year so if you see here this detail is coming from hr system prompt here you can see sick leave 12 days per year so let's ask something related to sales so what are the products are there let's ask what are the are there as you can see here it came up with the product details so let's see what is happening begin the scene so let's print message history and see what is happening here you can see we have our system prompts so here is our first question and here is the response from our agent okay then we asked how many sick leaves i can take and then see here model is using tool call the tool name is ask hr manager and here you can see the question how many sick leaves can an employee take in a year now here is the output from tool okay so an employee is entitled to 12 days of sick leaves per year so basically what happens it uses tool to communicate with other agents so this is the ideal way of doing this finally i want to show you one more interesting feature which is response type basically you can define how the agent output should look like let me show you here i've created a response format class using pydentic base model and we are passing this class in the response type so let's see what happens so if you print the data here you can see we got an instance of the response format class and you can access the values using the keys uh, what is that response so like this you can change the response format for example here you can add thoughts and it's going to be a list of strings so the agent should think before it respond right so let's see run this so here you can see the user has initiated the conversation i should respond politely and ask how can i assist the user so the point is now the response format has been changed and you can access the values using the keys okay so something like this so this will be helpful in many situations right so the point is you can change the response format however you want so that is where this particular feature edges so that's it now let's discuss about the limitations there are two major limitations the first one is there is no way to manage the agent's memory and the second limitation there are no tools available we have to create our own tool for our agents so these are the two major limitations so that's it that's all i wanted to share with you all let's meet in the next video